Have you seen a loose horse anywhere around here? Um, no. A chestnut gelding, 13 hands high, minus one halter. No, sorry. Darn, that's my horse Blaze. He undid his halter again and ran off. Do you want me to help you look for him? That'd be great. He couldn't have gone too far. Hey, I don't think I know you. Do you live on the island? No, I'm just visiting Willowbrook Stables. That means we're neighbours. I'm Erin. I'm Carol. Cool. Now let's go find that horse. You go down to the lake, and I'll go back towards my place. If you see him, come back and tell me. Okay. You're the best. No problem. Oh, watch out for my bratty brother. He's always playing pranks. Hi Rob, could you help me with a riddle? A riddle? Well, ordinarily yeah, but I'm kind of busy at the moment. Sorry. G'day, what's up? You look like you need some help. Frank, you don't know what this means, do you? This way across will keep you dry. Look underneath to get you by. I don't know, it could be a boat. I don't reckon you could look under too many boats, though. How about a bridge? There's a couple of bridges over to the west side, or down to the church. Well, why not try them? Thanks, Frank. No worries. See ya. This looks like something. Awesome! I found it! Hi, Margaret. Hello, Carol. You look like you've settled in well. Could you help me with a riddle? Oh, I'd love to, but I've got quite a lot of shopping to do. I've got to get to Cynthia's before she closes. Sorry. Carol, what's up? Well, I'm trying to solve this riddle. You want some help? That'd be great. I'm used to working stuff out with Stevie and Lisa. Who are they? They're the other members of the Saddle Club. And my best friends. Cool. 
Do you solve mysteries together? Not really. Mostly we just ride around together and help out Max at Pine Hollow. Who's Max? And what's Pine Hollow? Max runs Pine Hollow. They're the stables where we keep our horses and have riding lessons. We also hold saddle club meetings there. There's no club like the saddle club at the riding school here. So what's the riddle then? Here. Round in circles I will go, grinding on what you can sow. A turning wheel that has no road, slowing down shows my abode. Hmm. Does it mean anything to you? Well, I guess the grinding bit is the mill. I don't really get the second bit. Maybe if you go to the mill you might find something more. Okay, thanks Aaron. That's okay, see you later. Hello there. Could you help me with a riddle? Oh, I can't. I've just started to grind a batch of wheat. I've got to keep an eye on it. I think Charles might be able to help you though. He's inside. I'll get him for you. Hi, Mr. Batten. Hello, Carol. Can I help you with something? I sure hope so. I'm looking for a wheel without a road and something to do with an abode. A riddle, eh? Grinding on what you can sow. Oh, I say that's catchy, isn't it? Hmm. Well, there's a water wheel on the side of the mill. You've probably seen that already. Oh yeah. How would you slow that down, though? Oh, there's a lever there that'll stop the wheel. Go on over and pull it if you like. You can walk around to it then. Okay. Thanks. So there is. How odd. Well, must get back to the grind of things as we say. Ha! <laughs> Grinding on what you can sow. Bat and flower is the go. <laughs> cool, it's the next clue. Hi there, Garth. Oh, who's that? Oh, hello, lass. Another riddle here. I'd love to stop and chat, but the fish are biting. We'll have to get a bag full. Sorry, but it can they stop. Maybe another time. question? Of course, Carol. What do you think this means? My former glory stood tall and strong. Glorious knights did here belong. Now I'm tired, worn, and old. All that glitters is not gold. Sounds rather like me, actually. Mm, perhaps it means knights in armor. 
I don't think it's those kind of nights. Hmm. If it was, it would sound like someone was talking about the castle. Yeah. I never thought of that. I'll have a look around. Good luck with your little riddle. Hi, Hazel. Hello, child. I need some help, please. Of course. Why don't you come inside? I've got something brewing. Some kind of witch's potion? Yes, something very special. What is it? Mushroom soup. Mmm, delicious. Oops, <laughs> sorry. Really, Carol? You and your imagination. Now, let's see. You're searching for something, aren't you? Well, yes. I'm trying to find something at the castle. There's a clue in this riddle, but I'm having trouble working it out. Let's have a look then. My former glory stood tall and strong. Glorious knights did here belong. Now I'm tired, worn and old. All that glitters is not gold. Hmm. It does seem as if the castle was the right choice. Now I think you have to find something that is gold or looks like gold. Okay. That should be easy. But be careful. Some people say it's haunted. I'll keep an eye out. See ya, Hazel. Bye, dear. gold. Maybe this is it. A shining light above the sea shows the place you want to be. The path to this wreck is hidden well, so find a tree and break its spell. Leaves of green to the floor hide the path to a secret door. This is getting more confusing by the minute. That's the third time you've read that letter. You must know it by heart. I can't believe Carol's having an adventure like this. It is pretty awesome. I hope she finds the gold. She will. She has to. It would totally suck if Agnes lost the stables. It doesn't sound like Carol is having much of a relaxing holiday. Yeah, but it sure sounds like an exciting one. Do you think Carol will mind if I use her tail brush? I doubt it. It's over here somewhere. I think I'll use it after you. It's better than mine. Oh, 
Hello, Arthur. Could you help me with a riddle? Sorry, I'm trying to find one of Kenneth Mulberry's cows. Must be off if I want to crack this case before nightfall. something out anything I can help with some toffees maybe or some sugar for your pony you don't know anything about shining lights above the sea do you you mean lighthouses dear of course thanks Cynthia you're totally awesome oh my how nice of you to think so some people seem to think I talk too much you know though I only real oh see what I mean <laughs> have fun then Harold. Hello there, young lady. What are you up to, eh? No good, I bet, eh? What? <laughs> when I was your age, we were always racing around, sitting at cracking pace. Uh, not anymore, though. Needs constant attention, this old girl. Plus, it's harder to move with a plastic hip. Always gets me on these cold days. I think I'm looking for a path through some trees or something. Oh, high jinx, I'll bet. Need a bit of inside info, do you? Well, you've come to the right man. They didn't call me the Silver Fox for nothing, you know. The eagle has left the nest, hey? Eh? What? <laughs> uh, what? Oh, righto. You play it straight, and I won't let on either. Mum's the word. Um, okay. Trees, eh? Now, have a look over to the left, where the path goes back to town. Just keep your eyes peeled. Can't be too careful, eh? Over and out! Ha <laughs> ha! Hearty's time draws near to reveal the treasure I hold dear. A man of the sea would surely know the timeliest hour at which to go. Well, Jack, I think I'm getting closer.
Sarah. Could you help me with the riddle? Love to. But I'm late for my riding lesson with Jane. See you. Hiya, Bruce. G'day, mate. What are you up to now? Trying to solve those riddles. Good on you. Need any more pearls of wisdom from yours truly? What? Want any more help? Actually, if you're offering, <laughs> what do you think this means? A man of the sea would surely know the timeliest hour at which to go. Well, I'm not a betting man. Not that April knows anyway. But I reckon that you ought to go visit old Derek down the way. Sounds like it's right up his alley, being a fisherman and all. Cool, thanks, Bruce. No worries, mate. Veronica? Carol? What are you doing here? What am I doing here? I'm staying with my Aunt Jane. She lives at the manor. What are you doing here? I've been staying here with Agnes Southard at Willowbrook Stables. I'm helping her with something. I'm not surprised you're staying at a dump like Willowbrook. I can't wait until they tear it down and put up that resort. So that's what they want to build. It'll make this boring island so much better. Well, they won't be tearing down the stables if I have anything to do with it. <laughs> like you could do anything. So, where's the rest of the Spazzle Club? They're at Pine Hollow, helping Max take care of everything. More like they didn't want to be with you. Stay out of my way while you're here as well. I didn't come all this way to hang around with you. Like I'd even want to hang around you. Ha! <laughs> Look who we've got here, then. Hello, young lass. How you been faring? Hi, Derek. What brings you down to our little part of the world? Can they imagine it's the smell of rotten fish? I do find it mildly enchanting myself, but not many others seem to take a liking to it. Are you after some bait? I don't blame them. Actually, I have a question about the sea. And what might that be? The timeless hour at which to go? What? Go fishing, you mean? I think so. Well, any time, I reckon. But usually on the change of tide. Do you want to know when the tides are changing? When would the next low tide be? Well, she's low twice a day, but there's a very low tide for the next few days. Just after breakfast, I reckon. Great, thanks. How long does it stay low for? Oh, not long, an hour or so. Thinking of doing some fishing, are you? Kind of. Thanks. Carol, what's happening? Oh, I'm getting there. Hey, do you know Veronica? Yeah, unfortunately. She's Jane's niece. She comes to the island once in a while and stays with Jane. She's here at the moment, actually. I saw her yesterday. She's a bit... Uh... Of a pain? Yeah. Tell me about it. So, you've met her already, then? Yeah, but I know her from back at Pine Hollow. We go to the same riding school. You sure are unlucky. Well, I just stopped by to say hello. I gotta get going. See ya. Bye, Aaron.